Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're not planting today. Today, we are reaping the rewards of our harvest. So we're going to go pick some guavas because right now it is January in San Diego. And this time of year, we're getting in things like our citrus. So we're getting in the oranges, the grapefruits and all that. But man, my guava tree is looking awesome. So we're going to go pick some guavas. So I got my wife's uh, salad bowl. So today it's gonna be our harvesting fruit bowl. So let's go check out the guavas. So anyway, you can see all the way up to the top, that is my guava tree. So let's go check it out. So you can see I've already got a guava on the ground. Now when these things get ripe, man, they start dropping on the ground. So you can actually just pick them up and eat them off the ground, that's fine. Um, I have a layer of mulch here, so realistically it would be fine, um, but I'm not gonna eat that one because I've got some others on the tree. So anyway, check it out. Here's my guavas. These maybe not quite ripe yet, a little bit smaller too, but you can, if you look up in my tree, you can see I've got lots of guavas there. Check this branch out over here. I think this is the one we're gonna hit first. Some more guavas, check this out. Dude, look at all those guavas. Dude, I got a bunch of guavas in there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pick them. Now, if you're not familiar with guavas, uh, they're pretty good. Um, the thing is, so you can see this one's a green one, so the green one's not ready. Here's the yellow one. Um, so they turn like a yellowish orange. These are Mexican guavas, because I'm uh, San Diego next to the Mexican border, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so when I test them, I kind of make sure they're just a little bit soft. Um, if they're real soft, you know, they'll fall off the tree like that. Uh, but if they're green, you don't want to eat the green ones. Those aren't ready yet, aren't, aren't ripe yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some yellow looking ones. Let's see, like this one. This one's soft. That one's ready. Let's pull it off the tree. Throw it in my little bowl. So I, man, this one's really close. This one might need like a couple more days. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go back. Let's go back over in that area. Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> perfect. A little hard, a little hard. Oh man, look at this one. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that guava. Perfect. Nice one. Uh, let's take this one. I don't know if I'm going to be up here the next couple of days, so if they're pretty close, I'm going to take them. That one's a little hard. Another one. Let's see what else we got over here. that one looks like we're gonna have another another harvest coming up so here's some guavas here tell you what let's go check the other part of the tree so you can still we still have this batch we'll probably come get these next weekend got some more down here those would probably be another Another weekend, well, that's cool. The thing is, these things, they... The thing is, these things, after you pick them, you gotta eat them pretty quickly. That's, that's the thing, you can't really get guavas in the store because they don't keep. Oh, there's a nice one up there. You see that big one? You see that big one? Let's go check that one out. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Just gave a couple to my neighbor. All right, I think we are good for harvest number one. You can see we probably still got another dozen or so next time cool my dog bella she chases her shadow and acts like a cat cool so tell you what why don't we go down let's take these to the kitchen let's taste one
So we've got our guavas. Uh, I picked about 10 guavas or so. Uh, my neighbor was out there, so I gave him a couple of them because he's been eyeing my guava tree. Uh, yeah, so guavas, if you haven't had one, they're pretty sweet. Uh, you can eat the whole thing. There are some little seeds just in the middle part here, but they're real small. So the thing is, once you get down to the middle, you just don't like crunch your teeth real hard and you'll be fine. So you just eat them. It's not a big deal. So tell you what, I'm going to wash this off a little bit. Cool. All right. So yeah, let's try it. Oh, man. That's really good. So... Fine. Here's what the inside of a guava looks like. So you can see there's a little bit of seeds in here, uh, but again, they're not um, they're not real big. They're actually really tiny. Um, so as long as you don't like crunch down real hard, you know, you're fine. Um, so I eat them just fine. Um, outside here, there's no seeds here. You can eat the skin, not a big deal. Uh, they're pretty good. Man, these are pretty good. Yeah, so if you haven't had a guava, they're sweet, uh, but not like um, citrus, like boom, like that, like that big, you know. No, but they're really good. So they're kind of mild, but they are a little sweet, and they've got that distinctive guava taste. So uh, if you've ever had like those guava juices, that's what it tastes like, but in a fruit. So it's pretty good, man. Yeah, this is awesome. So these are really good. So again, when you uh, to know when they're ripe, it just kind of squeeze them, and they'll play. They'll give a little bit. Of, they'll be a little pliable, right? And so, that, so then you'll know they're soft on the inside. So if you let them go too long, they'll fall off the tree. Uh, no, you know, just sit on the sit on the ground and all that. Tell you what, let me know in the comments. Have you ever had guavas? Do you like guavas? Do you have a guava tree? Uh, does the guava tree interest you? Let me know in the comments. And I'll tell you what, if you like this video, dude, if you give me a like, that would be awesome. Uh, you know, it'll really help my little gardening channel expand to others that are interested in things like, you know, fruit trees and guavas. And I'll tell you, if you have not yet uh, subscribed to the channel, you know, I'd suggest you go ahead and do so because, man, dude, I've got some really good plantings coming up. I've got a bunch of fruit trees I have to get in the ground. I still got an avocado I got to get in the ground. I got some, I got an aprium. I got pluots. And I've got some exotic stuff I gotta put in the ground. So I'll tell you, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And I'll tell you what, I will put up a couple more videos you might wanna take a look at here, and I'll see you in that next video.